This is the very first issue of Venom Lethal Protector. It was Venom's first solo series. I bought this comic when it came out in 1993. Let's go online and find out how much it's worth now. I bet I'm so rich. Okay, here we go. After keeping it in pristine condition for 25 years, it's worth... $15. $15?! I'm rich! They filmed a few scenes to the new Venom movie a couple hours away from here. Let's go check it out. Those spins make me dizzy. We're in San Francisco. Let's go find some Venom filming locations. Now I haven't seen Venom. The film doesn't come out for another week, but the first scene as seen in the trailer is right here. You will see a motorcycle come right down this road. You'll see these palm trees in the scene, along with these buildings and these buildings over here also. This whole area was once a concrete jungle of double-decker freeways that went nearly the entire expanse of the Embarcadero. But the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake destroyed the freeways. The earthquake was kind of like Venom, an anti-hero that smashed up the freeways and in turn restored this glorious view. The next scene, as seen in the trailer, is right here. You will see Tom Hardy standing right here. Now honestly, I don't know what he's doing right here. It's only in the trailer for a couple seconds, and I gotta go, I'm actually parked illegally. On to the next location. I wonder if there's any place to get some good Chinese food around here. Welcome to Chinatown, the place to eat, and then 20 minutes later, you're hungry again. In this action scene, Eddie Brock, played by Tom Hardy, comes flying down Chinatown on a motorcycle, being chased by some thugs. Must have got a bad fortune cookie. I hope he got takeout. Tom Hardy rides by the Chinese bakery, the Four Seas restaurant, and the wok shop. I'd show you where the rest of the locations are, but it's an ancient Chinese secret. Plus, I don't know where they are. The movie hasn't come out yet. Eddie Brock, still being chased by thugs, comes tearing right up Kearney Street. Afraid. These steps are named after artist Peter Macchiarini. Macchiarini was an Italian-American avant-garde jeweler and sculptor. In June 2001, he was declared an official San Francisco legend and the steps were named in his honor. People walking around San Francisco talking to themselves is nothing unusual. Hey, I'm talking to myself right now. And in this scene, you'll see Tom Hardy walking down the street talking to himself. You will only hurt bad people. But Eddie Brock's not tweaking out. He's talking to his symbiote alter ego, Venom. In the background, you'll see the Savoy Tavoli, a restaurant, and Lola of North Beach. This next really cool scene said that it happened on Beale Street. 
but I went to the Bill Street in San Francisco and it doesn't look anything like this and I couldn't find it anywhere. That's when I remembered that a lot of Marvel films are filmed in Atlanta. They get a huge tax break over there. So I went on Google Maps to Atlanta, Georgia, and I found this street, Foresight Street. This is where Eddie Brock turns into Venom. Also, right down the road is the Rialto Theater, where you see Eddie Brock riding past on a motorcycle being chased. These two scenes, and probably a lot more, are filmed in Atlanta. But there's one more scene I want to show you filmed in San Francisco. For our last San Francisco scene, seen in the trailer, Eddie Brock comes flying up this hill, hits the top of the hill, he flies off his bike like one of the Duke boys. He flies off of his bike, but then turns into Venom and with his symbiote arms, grabs hold of the handlebars, and speeds down the hill. I guess he missed the sign that said hill. 